What's up guys, it's Ryan with Seek Outside and uh, today I'm going to give you a little cap camp walkthrough of what we got set up for our uh, third season elk hunt here in frigid Colorado. And how cold is it? It is, it's probably about 19 right now. <laughs> it's not very warm. No, it's very cold. All so right. yeah, let's, let's take a look here. We decided to go with uh, two tents um, and two stove setups uh, just so everybody has space for gear. I think we all have about three sleeping bags so we needed some extra space. Um, so if you take a look over here, what we got is the eight person teepee with the SXL stove in it. And as you can see, we got a tarp down. This is a DST tarp. We got that down and then there's another DST right over there. Um, just to keep, as you can see, it's very sloppy, so we didn't want our, our gear getting dirty. Um, and then we also got this, uh, we got our wood set up over here. Um, brought some cardboard, which is nice because you can use it to start fires, and you can, uh, you can put stuff on top of it. So that's one tent here. We also have the liner set up. Uh, this is a must-have for winter camping due to condensation. I mean, it's going to be high, especially with... I mean, if you look down here, all this moisture is locked in the ground. And basically what we're doing is we're creating a greenhouse here. So when we fire the stove up, all that moisture is going to be rising. The stove will dry it up over time, um, but liner is definitely a must have. So what we got going on here uh, with teepees, and especially if you have the liner in there, headroom is always a must have. Um, so what we do um, and you can do this with sticks, but basically for our guy lines, we're just running a redirect here. Uh, and what this does is it allows you to have a shorter guy line, um, but still get this proper upward angle so that you're actually getting more space in the teepee there. All right, so this is our second teepee setup, uh, another eight man. This one has the big mama in there, um, and it also has the big mama baffle inside of it. Um, <clears throat> I set this one up, so I'm sleeping in here. I set the, all, all the camp up, so obviously I'm gonna take the big stove for myself. But um, yeah, we kind of have the same setup here. Um, again, so I have a, a big thick blanket underneath my sleeping pad here for extra insulation, two sleeping bags. Um, Owen's got a similar setup over here. Uh, and then on this side, we have all of our gear our packs and another wood set up right there. So tonight the lows are gonna be around 10, 11 degrees. Um, as you can see over here, we're kinda in a valley. Unfortunately, this was like really the only spot that we could that we could set up here. Um, but, so it's gonna be very cold tonight. That's why we all have uh, multiple sleeping bags. You know, um, if you're truck camping, it's always nice to bring extra stuff um, as you can afford the weight. Um, to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't be back backpack hunting in this kind of weather, <laughs> just unless you have a giant bag and a sled. Um, but luckily we're all alone here. So we're gonna get some elk down. <laughs> 